I think I think that's how that I think it's what happened there. <laughs> yep, I remember that now. Okay. I believe you can hop out of the castle real quick and save. Let's see if the guards are, are still there or not. If not, you can retreat back to the waterway to the save point. <clears throat> Okay, they are there. Worst guards ever. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty confident we can we can take him down. On we go. Let me make sure that. Hmm. I think we've got enough cash that losing the. I guess we might as well trade some other stuff down, I guess. Actually, no, because Sid can't equip any of the stuff, so it would be kind of a waste of time. We'll just see how to equip a iron ring, get a, get a spare silver ring. You know, losing the rods isn't a big deal. Four points. Okay, do that. Okay, that should do. That should do well. Oh, sorry, she won't be using her arrows for this fight. Let us remove this stuff completely. And let's give her a... Oh, we sold all of, we sold all of our staves. Oops. Uh, and we do want to cure that thing. So we'll just leave her with that one. Okay. Four twins. <laughs> so you've become a pulver, but I don't like that. It's not just good, it's lawful good. <laughs> you. <laughs> you have to wonder what kind of, like, society they come from. I always love that too, just like throwing off the king, like, th throwing off his skin, I guess, basically. <laughs> and also. All right. So a lot, of stuff, a lot of fun stuff you can do here. Here's the thing, it's like the, I believe Kanazo is uh, vulnerable to ice normally and vulnerable to lightning when, you, when the wall of water is up. So, and, and, and I actually like that, him being vulnerable to ice in turtle form because, hey, he's a turtle, you know. Though so you can't always use peak to confirm. Yeah. So let's have, yeah, that didn't do a whole lot. Maybe it is just, just lightning across the board this time around. We do want to have it slow, that's for sure. Okay. Well, timely, timely lightning on on the Palum now, because you want to hit him with something to stop the uh, water. He uses uh, big wave, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, since Palum's taking care of that, let's get a virus on him. Nice. So definitely water one, definitely lightning one. He's <laughs> the lit scared him. My Doctor Turtle getting lit. <laughs> All right, so I think what I'm going to do is so that was one those double ice. So yeah, stick with that. I think the deal is just that uh, Kignazzo's defense is so high. Let's see, let's see if Keep works on him. Huh. Oh nope, doesn't work. That's frustrating. Okay, uh, we'll see. I feel like he's going to do gather yeah, gather water again. So Pollen's going to knock that off, and then hopefully the ice three will finish him off. If, if, if I wind this up, that should that should kill him. But we will see. Because he's just doing okay damage himself. Okay, I can the shelf. Okay, well, ice should definitely mess him up a good and proper then. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I've done this a time or two, as you might, might imagine. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> there we go. The twins are some of their most useful spells at the point at which they will never be used again. <laughs> also like to imagine that Sid finally bu uh, busted himself out of jail. 
just to find out, oh wait, just got here a little too late. Of course, it's kind of a good thing, because I don't imagine Sid would do very well against uh, Naza. Right. I, I, Sid is such a great character, but he's so bad in, in combat. <laughs> Banter Sid until I have is always good, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish that Porum, Porum and Porum had stuck around, you know, a bit more. Right. So there, we, yeah, they're, I really like how they, they play off them and everybody else. I mentioned the Rune Factory stream, so my favorite things about, about the games like this, with these exaggerated and fun characters, is how they interact with each other, and how a lot of games don't actually ever have characters do that. So when you have stuff like this, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> The spins before people face each other. You can definitely have flounce of some kind. <laughs> but the fiends are nothing if not uh, vindictive. <laughs> oh, I, I, there is an actual dark world in this game. We'll get getting to it like probably in the next stream. But I so I have a feeling this just a similar translation to the. Uh, what was it? The um, another dimension from the Konami dub of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> the hope for infinite losers. Thanks, dude. As far as ways of writing characters out of the story goes, you know. Definitely, definitely memorable. Yeah. Of course, you have to be kind of surprised at how it works with you know, two kid-sized statues holding the collapsing walls in, but hey, it works. You un and much like other times where you can interact with, you know, people and objects and stuff like that, you can try to use items on them. That includes using heal potions and golden needles if you're playing the later games but that's another good sign too of just how much the, the, the two the twins meant to them tell us like you know hey you know I, I'm looking for revenge but I'd still rather it be me than you right oh, that's another thing that yep that's another thing Galba is going to answer for <laughs> make it so But yeah, you can uh, try to use items on them and it just, you know, never works. <laughs> but it is a problem. I love uh, after, you know, Galbus hatches these plots to snatch the crystals from, you know, the, uh, the desert uh, castle and then the, you know, the monastery full of uh, kung fu monks and everything. So you know what? Those hippies and their crystal of water, that's going to be the tricky nut to crack. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny, too, in the, a lot of these earlier Final Fantasy games. It's like, for as much as it's usually the male characters being the leads and everything, the Sea Soul Warrior Flight and stuff like that, it's always the, the kingdoms full of, uh, the, full of female troopers that are always the most dangerous. You know, Troia in this one, and Alexandria in nine, and stuff like that. <laughs> I love the Red Wings uh, music. Okay. We have our obligatory world opens up with a vehicle upgrade sequence. <laughs> Those are good um, with blowing open a big patch of forest to make our dramatic escape. Sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Big white flag. <laughs> I don't mind the crew full of monsters over there. <laughs> Of 
Yeah, no thanks to Kane's last attempt there. Yeah, you're alive is kind of a weird reaction, but he does recognize Cecil, obviously. But you think it'd be a little more of a response to the whole the whole Paladin thing. <laughs> The first time we'll be hearing that in the course of this game. <laughs> Stone Cold. Now we have our next uh, objective. And as it goes back to what I was saying before, too, about it being kind of cool that you know, Baldez works through, you know, the guy isn't all powerful, they still work through plots and uh, schemes sometimes. Right. <laughs> a button, rise up the air, blah, blah. I always had to wonder why it was that you couldn't land in deserts. It's actually one place that's generally fairly easy to land. Right. I guess if you couldn't get it back up again, it might sink in or something. And this is the one. This is the only time we'll be playing this. Uh, well, there are a couple times that it plays music besides the uh, normal airship uh, you know, tune. You can enjoy that for a while. But there are a couple things to do here. The first thing is finding out how much money we have, which is a fair bit. And we want to... Get some stuff from Mist. Besides uh, bad memories and guilt trips. <laughs> you can talk to people here about how all the... Oh, some, some lore about how the, call, how the callers work. There's some goodies in town, too. The main thing we're here for is an item in Rydia's house and a weapon. Because you can buy the Dancing Dagger here. And it is a really good upgrade for when you're stuck being not being able to do other things. Uh, nobody, nobody here cracks the whip. It's a dagger. Unfortunately, unlike in Final Fantasy One, you have to actually be able to use an item to basically. If you if you tr you have to be able to equip an item in order to use it. If you try to do try to do it otherwise, it will uh, try to pull move it to your inventory and then it won't work. It does lead into one of the duplication glitches you could do, which we won't be doing. So we'll have, we'll equip Cecil with it for now. Uh, once again, check the status there. Uh, th so he finally got his third swing. Three times 47. So 35 is pretty bad. But it's almost as accurate, and it has a has a item property. You can actually use it to make it even better. That's the most useful, uh, one of the useful things about it. Another ruby ring, which will be useful later, and I think Tulla can equip that. Oh, Tiara, yeah, Tiara's only for only for ladies. So I guess uh, I guess with the exception of the dancing dagger, you don't really want to get this until you're ready to pick up Rosa again, which uh, obviously won't be for a little while. But still good to have it in the inventory, though. I think we're done playing elemental rock paper scissors with Yang too to sort our inventory again. There we go. There's the music you're wanting to hear. All right, what's the other stop we need to make? Uh, Mithril Village is important. There, there's Troya right there. You can, you can park right next to it, but otherwise you're in for a bit of a wall. And there's this entire continent over here that there's nothing, like this entire bottom part of around Troya, there's no reason to ever go there. You can explore and go fight monsters if you want to, but there's, you know, nothing there for it. But what we actually want to do is go to where yeah, your Baron is, and then, uh, or Troy, or where uh, Fable was, and then head south. Here's where we want. And later on, this is a hint that later on we'll be coming back with a hovercraft too, because there are shallows there. So this was just called the Village of Mithril in the other versions, and you've got permanent. I'm guessing they're supposed to be uh, supposed to be dwarves, uh, the, uh, the the minim the minimized people, but. We actually run into, run into dwarves later, and they are normal-sized sprites, so... Yeah, these are just people that, uh... Silver do. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you want to have Tulla bash things instead of cast things, that's what, that's what you use. Right. Yep, this is apparently just a group <laughs> of people that are all pigs, frogs, and mini-people. Right. Come on, brothers. 
<laughs> Let's dance. <laughs> that good old magnetic cave, Keen says, and we were wasting hours grinding ahead of it back before I understood how to play games. You, you probably made the right decision, though. That is a tough dungeon. <laughs> yeah, I, w I would say this part of the game, where you've only where you've got Tella as your only magic caster, and some restrictions on your gear coming up, that this is probably the hardest part of the game. And so it'll be interesting to see how well it works with you know, me being a little under-leveled for it. I may just end up running from everything on the trip up, and uh, just, fi and just fighting things on the way back. And I can actually start equipping stuff again. So what, what the game expects you to do is... You know, get, you know, what the game expects you to do is to equip everybody in non-metal uh, equipment. So despite it being a magnetic cave, it has to be non-metal entirely. Uh, you can't just rely on, hey, everything except iron is good to go. Although, actually, we can get to Agar from here and pick up iron armor if we wanted to. And as you, Oh, and I forgot to check Sid. As you might guess from him being locked in jail, it starts with nothing. Well, then it wouldn't hammer, but... Right. Yeah, this is a wooden hammer means you can actually fight. Uh, Keen agrees, but thinks the best strategy is to equip Cecil with a staff and make him go full heal bot, and there are a lot of things that Telek and Osmos and Psyche in there for nuking. There's a thought. And that's a really good point. That I does have, sound like a good idea. Right. I that's have, expensive armor, wow. Yeah, yeah. And it's not that much of an increase over the Paladin stuff, too. Yes, Zane. Final Fantasy IV. Yeah. Except it's Final Fantasy II. <laughs> yeah, I started streaming that on on uh, Friday for my birthday instead of Rune Factory. We will want one of these for later, and I think I don't think we'll ever be in a situation where we need the Silver Sword. We've already got one of those. Looks like it's made of silver. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah, you might think with the magnetic cave, it's like, wait a minute, silver isn't actually magnetic. Is that a clue? But no. Uh, you have to come in with non non metal stuff. That's one reason I wanted to save some Gaia equipment, is that you can have uh, Cecil, uh, you can have Cecil contribute that way. You know, unfortunately, that means we have to take away his shield and put him with non metal stuff. I'm probably heading back to Baron to grab head grab a headband for him. And did I save a Gaia suit? I did, and we need a. Okay, so what all do I need to get? I need a one hat for Cecil. I need... No, you need to go to Troya first, right? Yeah. I, I was thinking, I'm just getting everything, get everything lined up now. Okay. And I think Tella should be... Tella's fine. Okay, so I'll probably want a guy a hat for him. And then Sid will just need a full set of stuff. Okay. Yeah, can... you can give him the uh, Gaia stuff if you want. Oh, I did have another Gaia robe, didn't I? I don't think he can equip the Gaia robe. Oh, indeed, he nope. cannot. Well. So, I guess back to Baron to buy some karate gear. <laughs> Which is still okay defensively. So, from here, I believe, fastest way is... Uh, Ripley Cross, and there it is, yep. It's one of those Final Fantasies that the world map isn't actually that big. But it, it can feel that way when you're crossing on foot. So we need uh, two hats. And one karate outfit. And then I think that should be good to go. Because we'll be getting another ruby ring there in Troya. They kind of give you some free stuff to help you help make it through. Let's see. The band. No, Yang is all good to go. Sid. This one. And. Karate. There we go. And then we'll be getting another. So that's for him later. Okay. Let's head over to Troya and talk, meet them and raid the treasury and then plan our next move. <laughs> as much as we can. I know we, we don't actually get the whole thing until we're done with, the, with that uh, quest. So from here, this is on the same continent as Baron. Head up. 
uh, w- last time in in the DS version, what they did was added some one-time only uh, element elemental things for Cecil, and kind of, kind of gave him some purpose in the magnetic cave. It's real. Oh, also make sure that uh, you don't do what I did one time and forget to talk to Edward. <laughs> <laughs> it's never been in a war. Yeah, I mean, that joke about uh, Alba's, you know, backing off from the army of hippies. It's like, yeah, he, he, probably, he probably doesn't know they're not quite as ferocious as their reputation might be. <laughs> Another good bit, too, with uh, Tella hanging back. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Edward, Edward uh, hard, to, hard to say if Edward would have been, you know, a good help for this part or not. I mean, another warm body to target, you know, not a problem. <laughs> I wonder if anybody playing this one actually thought that Rydia died there. The game sure, certainly doesn't give you any hints that she didn't. Right. But on the other hand, it's like, you know, hey, the the young, the, the spunky kid character got washed ashore. I mean, surely there's no way they just killed her off in a, in a game like this. <laughs> you have an airship. Change for the Crystal of Earth. Oh, right, because if we talk to Edward first, we psychically know what the problem is. Right. <laughs> I wonder if the other versions uh, fix that. Pretty cool. I think uh, there's supposed to be some kind of echo uh, grass or device or something in the other, uh, in like after years actually makes some use of it. One of the few good storytelling bits in that game. I kind of prefer it being a you know harp that plays the same thing because you know epigress is just kind of a weird idea. Right. You still have an issue of how it's supposed to like you know, harmonize across a great distance and stuff. Well, I don't want to get into too much quantum, but yes, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> and certainly, you can at least say you know a magic harp that plays what another magic harp plays is a lot better than magic grass that plays whatever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm saying that the land of hippies isn't well known for its magic grass, but you know. <laughs> yeah, the the intimidating looking dancer uh, blocking the the, the the first staircase down is guarding their treasury, and you can't actually get to it until you get the cleric until you get the rulers of Troya's permission. It's called the clerics in this one, and I think it's the Epots. Uh, it Epots or something like that. Uh, Epops. There it is, in, uh, in the DS version. This is going to sound a little bit harsh of me, but they're what is. <laughs> like, how do you even spell that? Uh, E-P-O-P-T. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I am the guards woman. Yeah, look, only, only the elite guards get the get the leotards and, uh, and, and, and flowers in their hair. Right. Yeah, everybody else has to make do with armor and stern looks. I think you're supposed to talk to them in order. Mm -hmm. But how? The clerics. Oh yeah, you're right. So start we'll start going counterclockwise. Go the cave with a magnetic field. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Those armors of metal will do the same. I guess you probably talk to one then the other and just make your way along. Yeah, we now have our mission, Magnetic Cave. Uh, I'm dreading this one, <laughs> but I think we'll be good. I mean, we, get, we get another ruby ring, so let's make sure that Sid is equipped with it. Plus two flowers of protection. <laughs> <laughs> I approve. Okay, so sort that again. Should uh, Sid be in the front row? 
I've, I've been mulling that over because I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to put somebody in the back with a bow. Because we can buy a new one in Troya, and they're not metal, obviously. You'd think the arrows would be, but you know. But you know. Beautiful city. Let's see, I don't think we can get any new, uh, anything appropriate here either. Other cloth, nope. I am shocked that you can't buy Gaia stuff here. <laughs> I I'm just saying. You'd think, yeah. yeah they're, they're a great bow, yeah. So might as well do that. And is anything weak to anything in particular here? Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to buy a couple of each. You know, let, let's take a quick look and see that uh, Cecil is... Well, Cecil got the dancing... Well, I think the dancing dagger counts as metal. So that won't be a whole lot of use here. I'll give it a try, but assuming oh, let's assume it doesn't. Uh, Sid uh, can we give him uh, iron arrows and a great bow. What kind of damage are we looking at? Much lower. A half what it was, and not great accuracy either. Of course, this accuracy is not great to begin with. Right. See, so things like maybe. Um... Maybe you could give it to Cecil. Yeah. I mean, I guess his dancing knife would probably be okay, but... Oh, you have it in the wrong... Oh, you know, you do have it on the right hand. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we could also compare... I think if I get a bit more damage out of it. Anyway, do that one. I wish it was just a de-equip uh, item or option. Right. So if we do that on Cecil instead, what are we looking at? It was uh, 47, I think, was the Legend Sword damage. Iron and... Great I think a little bit worse than Sid, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a bit worse than Sid at that. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll put, leave him with the Dancing Dagger for now. And if that doesn't work, then we'll uh, just have him... I guess we'll have to have him do that one, because Sid can fight in melee with his hammer. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to have the team set up this way. And I believe there was some kind of rule where the higher they were, the more the faster their turns went if they were tied. So put Tulla up closer to the top. Okay. I think that should do. He's noticeably lower level. That means he should be getting levels pretty quickly. That whoever we're going, to, we're going to equip with a bow, we can put them in the back rank. Nyangsel has his elemental claws if we need those, so yeah, I think that'll do. We'll see how well it works, and if not, they would just run, run away from things. And that's right, I was going to buy some. Since we're pretty much good to, good to go on equipment for now, let's buy some of the elemental arrows too. So let's get about. Get about uh, 30 of each. That's the thing, Keen. I don't remember if the dancing dagger is metal or not. I seem to, I seem to remember that. Uh, I seem to remember using it in the magnetic cave, but that might just be my memory playing tricks on me. And that could just be when I use it on the way out. And this is a weird little scene you can do, which <laughs> which we may or may not do. I mean, there's some, there's some, there's some uh, frivolity and fun to be had, but we're not going to be messing with that. Can we buy Cure 2s here? That's the only thing I really need to spend the rest of my money on. Uh, no. Well, I guess some Cure 1s to get for out of battle healing to keep the MP topped off. Right. Maybe that'll work of our cash. And let's also... Oh, I can sell the Legend Sword if I really need, if I needed to get the uh, money for it. So the Cure 2's up. Cure 1's on top of that. Wouldn't it be the Ancient Sword you want to get what I say? Legend. Ancient, yeah. Yeah, let's definitely sell some things, too. Which I think would... No, that would be good place as any for it. I already responded to that one. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Mm -hmm. we, can we can definitely sell one of these things. 
Oops, hit on the leather. We do want that wooden one. We want the silver stuff for later. Uh, all of the equipment, all the backup equipment we're going to need. Uh, ooh, that sells for a lot. And I don't think it really does me any good, so... Uh, we're going to want that for later. Cure staff if we need it. Cloth I know we don't need. Uh, crossbow, <laughs> crossbow is yesterday's news. And all the stuff we're going to want later. Alright. On we go. Uh, we have a long walk up ahead of us to get to the... That's true, yeah, we have a long walk ahead of us to get to the Chocobo town, so let's give everybody back their metal stuff first. And that's what Ben meant earlier when he needed to not be so hasty on this equipping everything. Right. So, Paladin. Magic of Inventory Management. Be a good time to get some XPs too, probably. Oh, he needs a hat. Uh, there's a Gaia Helm. I need to get, go get him one. That'll be at um, Mysidia. Let's see, and then Sid, I don't think, has any. Did I get him a silver hammer? No, I think I did. The trip, yeah, for the trip back. Then he, that's all fine. Oh, he can't, he can't use silver rings. It's the ruby ones. Huh. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I know, I know some of the enemies are weak to fire, so I want to do that. He'll, he'll, he'll equip it. Okay. That's right, because Sid uses gauntlets. Well, make me cast exit to get out of town, lady. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, let's run over to City real quick, which should be. Let's see. Oh, that, that's different. Oh, we can do this now. Right. We'll get him. I think we'll do that after Magnetic Cave. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't get forced to go to the tower until you take the crystal back to Troya. So I think we might do the Eblon Cave after, or the Eblon Castle stuff after that. We might be, I think we're a little too weak right now. So it's Agar, so that means Mycidia should be just north of that, I think. Ah, here we go. By that, by that form. And you know, actually, since it is almost five, and I can, I need to save up my, my reservoir of mental mental strength for Magnetic Cave, I think I'm actually going to try to make a run at Eblon now, and then uh, we'll do the Magnetic Cave next time. So we'll just head there, and I know, I think I can handle most of the stuff. Do Gaia. And there should be there's some good stuff there too. I know you can get a new sword for uh, Cecil and everything. And it'd be, it'd be, be good for some uh, XP too. So the deal with uh, Eblon Castle is that it it becomes more important in the plot later. A lot of people will just see another ruined castle while you're exploring. It's like, oh hey, did the uh, Red Wings do some damage you know, somewhere else here too? But uh, not quite. Can we go outside of it? Yeah, we can. Is there any point to this? I don't think so. No. In we go then. See, so, yeah, I seem to remember that the, the separate area is reachable from below. There we go. And everything's been looted. <laughs> well, almost everything. A couple things here and there. That's one down. And from here, we I think we have to... Yeah, we'll be good now for both of those. I like the castle music is kind of that, kind of a sad feel to it. I want to say these are both fine. There's a trap of the other way. <laughs> also interesting, there's only one throne, and we later find out there was a king and a queen. Hmm. Maybe she just doesn't much care about statecraft. <laughs> okay, so no, no one should hear you. Okay, so yeah, I guess I'll just pop right back out and save so we don't have to do this again. Right. But no, there are trap uh, traps in here with our monster monsters in a box. 
them as from the other uh, towers. The two towers, if you will. Some of could be pretty tricky, too. Right. Alright, so let's save again. Oh, there's only two minutes out of the way. It's not a big deal if we did die. Yeah. But, still. But still, know. yeah. I think right was the way you wanted to do last. So let's go this way first. Be, I guess whenever we come back, it'd be a good time to talk about uh, Edge and people that like him or not. This is pretty divisive of the five main characters. Here we go. Right. Solomon? Uh, interesting, I said one first. Kind of unexpected. Uh, we're definitely going to want the Legend Swords with these guys. There's a lot of damage in this that I got smacked in the face with. Uh, he still has one double, uh, double Ice Claws, and he should be able to take out the big guy. Okay. I think the legend might have done it might have done it in one. Oh, okay. I guess the back rank penalty was uh, was too bad. Are you sure that you uh, switched to the silver button? I thought I did. Okay, we'll uh, we'll check. Oh both eyes, okay. Oh weird. We'll do uh, our claw and thunder we'll put him to skeleton clearing uh, work. Wow. So yeah, these guys are pretty tough customers. Yeah, I knew Ice was their weakness. I guess their defense is just such that Yang wasn't getting through even with the elemental, uh, uh, <laughs> elemental deal. Right. <laughs> nice. Suppose it's true that if you consider each of these a mini boss fight, then. Uh then it makes sense to kind of approach it that way. Right. It's like, yeah, there are no random encounters or anything, so... Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah, these are way... They, they hit way above our weight class, but, you know, we can we can prepare for each one. And... Yeah, I think it's time to go bail and use a, use a tent, I think. I believe tents cure up to 100 MP, I want to say. So that are the pretty much perfect for getting Tella back up. And yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, you're meant to come back here much later, but you know, one of the, and it's not just that that to get to get asymmetrically early power, but just I really like when you when you have these really hard fights, you have to kind of you know, plan ahead for her and and uh, try to make it work. <laughs> Hopefully that will be in better shape for the Magnetic Cave, too, when we're done with all this stuff. I want to say there are four traps here. and I know, the, I know where the last one is. Right. That one's pretty brutal with a bunch of uh, mad ogres. And that basically comes down to... Uh, and sometimes I don't, even, I don't even do that one until I can come back with... Uh, with uh, uh, the Charm Claw. From the from the next dungeon, so that Yang gets Yang gets super effective against the big enemies. Yeah, exactly. And like Keen said, if you do come back later, the loot is much less impressive. Yeah, you definitely want you definitely want to do this now. A thousand and okay, so no uh, nothing else there. That's one side down. If I remember there was only the one fight on that side, I would have just uh, saved up for that. <laughs> Let's go back and save again. Uh, how are we looking on... Yeah, they did bring everybody back to full MP. And I know there's one with the Quirrells, and then you know, one with the Mad Ogres. But I thought there might be another one too, but... Okay. The right this time. Yeah, the Slumber Sword is good, and it does it flicks sleep on hit, but as long as we're dealing with enemies vulnerable to holy, we're going to want to stick with the with the Legend Sword. Right. Okay, not for either one of these. What about from here? I didn't think so. Yeah, there, oh, there it is. I thought one of them was from was from this first part, and then one was you want to drop down to. Okay. So you want to 
opened out for that one. Here we go. This is, this is the room I remember. So it must be a you know, pretty big fight in here. Aha. Monsters in the pot. Wait. <laughs> is it up and around? Yeah, there we go. We went to the castle full of a ninja to, to hide traps everywhere. Okay, this one. I remember this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, they will counterattack with, with the blaster, which is a, which is really bad. Uh, I'm thinking... Let's see if I'm trying to put him to sleep with the slumber sword. You definitely do not want to, nib to, to nibble away at them. Also, that didn't work. That didn't work either, though, fortunately. Um, I want to say there might be weak to ice. Regardless, a successful hit and a fail to, failure to blast means they might be dead, but maybe not. Okay. Can we mute them? I don't remember. That's worth trying, I guess. Let's also keep the Lamias. I think they're weak to fire, but I don't remember. And is Bluster a stop effect? Uh, it is excellent. Okay. It is uh, death. Uh, paralyze or one other thing, I think. 400. No weak. Okay. That case, we're just going to zap her with something something major. Without being able to blast her as a counterattack, they're not nearly as dangerous. I still prefer it my way with Bluster. Bluster. <laughs> yeah, might as well hit them with them with the. Get it, like, no holy. Okay. See, I guess yeah, a bit three would will definitely do it. Then I'm Sid's turn. I think I'm going to have him use a tier two on Cecil, so I don't fall behind on the damage race. He takes a lot. He takes a lot less damage. There we go. He takes a lot less damage than the other two, but he can be shut down. Right. And more importantly, once he's in danger, he won't cover for anyone else. Right. There you go. Yank has been paralyzed that whole time. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Rain uh, and spear. Yeah, much much cooler in the original with blood spear, but yeah, the, the 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 blood weapons are terrible in this game. It's very sad. Let's see, I think that uh, I think I can bail to the lower level and grab that item, and then. I will exit if it's not what I'm thinking of, since the Tulla has that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's the bottom part, right, with uh, that last thing. And I think that's the monster chest. We're going to want Tulla to have full MP for this, so back out and heal up one more time. If you really want to say, if you're, if you're really pinching pennies, you can go to a place like uh, Demcyan with a free, beautiful heal. Right. But that's, that's a little stingy even for us. <laughs> okay. Save. Now the one use that the, the Drain Spear has, that the, or the Blood Spear has, that the Blood Sword doesn't, is that if you have Cane Jump, his accuracy becomes 100%, I believe. So that's a good way of getting getting that uh, the effect to kick in, and I believe they're fairly high on damage per hit too. It's just the accuracy is terrible, so that might be a way to make make it up. But I, I don't. I, that's one thing I remember hearing. I don't, I don't remember if, I, if I've ever tested that or not. So I already grabbed that. Okay, down. Yeah. This this is definitely the tough one. In, in the it's in the, one of those one of those funny things. It's actually easier in the later versions because you have an item that inflicts stop on all enemies, which is dummied out in the original. So we're going to want to... We're pretty much going to have to keep Tella alive after this. And we don't, there isn't really anything we can do elementally that will help out. We just have to kind of hope for the best on who they go after. Three Mad Ogres. So basically... My thought here, we we're going to cover Tulla to have Cecil taking the hits there. Uh, we're going to need to keep Cecil alive at, uh, at all costs. And then we'll do the damage that we can on uh, one of them at a time. And th there's, there are two different ways of approaching this one. 
either go for the guaranteed thing and stop one of them at a time, or you can go for a little bit riskier and try to petrify the entire squad. That's what I'm going to open up with, and just hope that it uh, hope that it get to actually kill the couple. Oops, uh, keep C Soul's HP topped off, right? So that doesn't happen. Let's see if we can cover other people. None of them. Okay. So it does calculate individual. Yeah, yeah, it should. Um, let's just try it again, I guess. What I can think of doing. Yeah, I know Petrify does work on them. <laughs> that grin. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep up the healing while Tella tries to uh, tries to one shot them. There we go. There. <laughs> or Yang. And for that we get. Eh, it's not bad. Not worth it, I don't think. But, <laughs> but hey, you got the bad ogres. Exactly. We still came out ahead on that one. The XP is good, and the gold isn't bad either. We'll take Yang to get, so... Go ahead and heal him up for now. Shrekt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I approve. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, call it there. We're picking up next time with uh, Troya Crystal Magnetic Cave.